Welcome, and today it's that time again where Nikon of Nikon, Nikon, <laughs> they've released a, a, firm, a firmware upgrade to, which is now 1.4. So, first of all, you'll need to get your camera. I'm going to talk you right through slowly. Um, so, if you're new to this, this should hopefully help you. And, uh, well, if you've done this before, you can either Refresh your mind and go and do your update or no, just go and smash that like button for us just to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. Either way, let's crack on here. So, first thing you'll see is I'm going to switch this bad boy on. Now, it's it's hard to watch the screen to try and do it for there. So, what I'll do is I'll try and look at this. So, I know that I'm in picture here. Uh, right, so I'll go to the menu. I move it over. And I go down to the bottom one, and I push in this way, and you see there where it says, there you go, firmware version, you hit set, and there you go. So there's my, it's a cool PXP 950 I've got, and I'm on version 1.3. So what we need to do now is, I'll go and shift the camera now so I'm showing you the screen, right? Or maybe I'll try screen recording. But let's go on to the, the Nikon website. Actually, before we go to the website, what I need to actually inform you is, is format your card. Okay. So if you have got photographs or someone saved on that, go and save them now, put them in a safe place, format your card, and then at your PC, you take your card out, And as you can see here, I've got my wee reader thing here, and there you go. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So, now you know what firmware you've got. Now your card has been formatted. It's now empty, so the only thing that's going to go on there now is the wee file that's going to update the firmware on that. Now... We can go to the website. <laughs> yeah, actually, because I'm on a Mac, I actually use Safari. Okay, so all you do is you just Google in to the the Nikon site, and from here you go to into your help and support. Now the easiest way I've found out is I go down to product repairs, and then from there I go to down into here into this bit the download center. So when you go into the Download Center, if you look, the very first thing that comes in on mine anyway, going this way, is, and there is the firmware version. So you just click on that, and just before I click on the Mac OS, here's all it does. It's just fixing the following during time lapse, movie shooting, the camera normally locks focus at the first frame, but with some objects, the focus position may be gradually shifted after the second frame. I haven't got a clue what that means, but that's the fix for it anyway. So I'm still going to take it. So I just take it for Mac OS and then come down a bit, hit the accept and download it. I'll allow that. And you'll see at the top right hand side here, if I move my mouse, there it is there. And there is the download there. It's in. Now we make a folder. So you create a new folder and on that new folder you call it firmware. There it is up there, firmware. And now, now what I've done is I've, I've moved my firmware bin file here, there it is there. Okay, it's only a small 20 megabit file. But you now take this bin file and you drop it into your firmware folder that you made. Now you take your firmware folder and drop that into your SD card and that is now ready to open up in your camera. So now with the camera switched off okay you take your card with the bin file 
shoot it in, switch your camera on, go down to your menu, okay, and then you're now looking for the one in the settings that says firmware. So you open up your firmware, and as you can see, it's telling you to please wait. So it's found that there's a new version 1.4, move that up to yes, go to update, it's now updating. Do not turn the camera off during the update. And this is how quick this is. And I thought this would have been in by now. Well, it's taken a bit longer than I thought it would, actually. And there you go. Done. Turn the camera off to complete the update. Okay. And that's it switched off. Now, this is the point you must remember here. Okay. You need to remove this card and format it because it's still got the bin file on it. So what you do is, just to check again, switch your camera on. <clears throat> There's no card in here now, remember. And then I go to menu, and then I go to, over to my, no, down, down, and there. Firmware version, and there you go. That's me on version 1.4. And then all I have to do now is I switch the camera off, go to my computer, format this, just to wipe that bin file off it. You could even just open the file up and drag it off, throw it that way, whatever, whatever works for you. But hopefully that's helped. If it has, please smash that like button and beat the algorithm. If you're new, Welcome to Random Therapy. I'd love to have you as part of the family, so hit that subscribe button as well. Until the next time, I'll see you. <laughs>